What's up YouTube? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. My name is Keegan and today we are doing a review of Optimum Nutrition's 100% Whey. It is a pretty bog standard simple whey protein that I think has been around for just an incredible amount of time. As long as I think I've been working out, it's been around in the gyms. Uh, and it's sort of become the go-to protein to be referred to from one gym bro to the next gym bro and so on and so forth. So it's the kind of protein that I see recommended all the time. And I have to spend a lot of time telling people why I feel the way I do about it. But I don't want to spoil anything so let's just let's just start by laying out the basics as usual i've got one shaker cup here with one cup of water we're going to have one serving of the protein and we're going to mix it for 20 seconds i will use my phone as a timer we will finish shaking i will then go about taste testing it and i will go through all of our criteria in order to judge it as fairly and objectively as i possibly can and before we get started with the video I mean, you really, you're not gonna make me say it though, right? Like, I mean, I know you hate me saying it and I hate saying it. So why don't we just move on with our business? You hit the button, we do without, you just do our thing, all right? Everybody wins. You don't have to hear me say it again or even if you do hear me say it again, you can ignore me. We can just go on with our lives. All right, let's just, Let's just, let's just get on with the video, huh? Let's, let's just get on with the video. For those of you who don't remember what the criteria is, that is taste, texture, mixability, and macros. We're going to go through all of those, see how they score, then I'll give it a final score, and we'll wrap this up. I'm hoping to have this done in like six minutes. Let's see how quickly we can do this. Regardless, first things first, we have to get to mixing up the protein. So why don't we get to that as quickly as humanly possible? seconds now all that's left is to open her up take a lactose pill because even though in the ingredients they list lactase at the end i have no idea how much that actually is and quite frankly i just don't trust it so we're not going to let that be the thing that decides my fate tonight so let's play it safe old lactose pill here so bottoms up let's get this started Okay, so first and foremost, I chose the extreme milk chocolate flavor just because I figured extreme milk chocolate, it's basically just chocolatey chocolate. That being said, not a bad flavor. It's relatively well balanced. They managed to not be overly sweet, but at the same time have enough sweetness that the chocolate can kind of like still pop. Reasonable cocoa flavor. Not really creamy. As much as I want to hate it because I love bashing ON on a regular basis, I kind of have to give it to him on this one. Taste, I'm actually enjoying it. And I mean, it's got a little bit of a hollow back end to it. It's not really a very full flavor all the way through, but definitely on that front end in the middle, it's actually really tasty. So I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Again, wanted to hate it more, but I actually kind of like the taste. Next is the texture. This one mixes very seamlessly with the water. It's not like you're gonna be dealing with any kind of ultra thick protein. It's actually very, very smooth, very liquidy, very thin, um, which is a little bit surprising to me because I know that this is actually a, a blend, not a pure isolate. So I thought that maybe the whey concentrate might have provided a little bit more oomph in terms of the texture, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything here, which is to its advantage for me because I do not want that. Uh, so texture, um, I really wanted to, man, I wanted to bash this. I thought I was gonna come into this and just straight up smash it, but no. Texture. I'm gonna give that one a. I'm gonna give it a five. Okay. I actually like the texture. 
that's surprising. Next, mixability. Now, uh, again, I gotta give it up to Optum Nutrition. Uh, it definitely mixes very smoothly. When you look at the inside of the cup, there is nothing in there to indicate Nothing to really indicate any kind of lumps or uh, pieces that were unmixed or clumpiness or anything like that. So uh, very impressive. I got to give it up to him on that end as well. Um, it mixed quite well. It, there's nothing left on the side of the mixer. There's nothing, nothing towards the bottom of the mixer either. So um, pretty easy, pretty smooth. I guess I got to give them a four out of five on this one as well, at least. I'm gonna give them a 4.5. I expected more to be Kate to like the top, but there isn't any. It is clean. Hmm. Okay. Really thought this was gonna be worse. Macros. Now, unfortunately, this is where this is gonna get hit the worst. And that has everything to do with the fact that its macros are actually kind of garbage when you look at it. Uh, it's coming in at 120 calories, which really isn't that bad. That's actually pretty good. But the problem is that it's gonna have per serving 1.5 grams of fat, which I've seen people scared by less than one grams of fat in conversations about a protein powder, which blows my mind, but I digress. So 1.5 grams of fat, uh, we're coming in with three grams of carbohydrates and again i've had conversations with people where they've said oh it's got a gram of carbohydrates per per scoop yeah sorry i can't really go in that one that's just too much i'm trying to watch my carb intake to which i say you realized that point being three grams is a lot it's going to scare a number of people and i feel like a lot of what's allowing this to ride for most people is the fact that it's just suggested from one row to the next. Now, where that carbohydrate comes from, I'm pretty sure it's the maltodextrin. Uh, if I remember correctly in their ingredients list, yep, maltodextrin is in there. So that or modified food starch or co the combination thereof, um, those things can be contributing to this particular issue there in terms of the, uh, the, the increased carbohydrate count from what I would normally see uh, in a protein. Uh, and then last but not least, Per scoop size, a 32 gram scoop, by the way, a 32 gram uh, serving comes in at 24 grams of protein. Now, 25 to me is like low. When you're coming in at 25, I'm like, eh, okay, so you're really coming in like under the bar. 24, to come in lower than that is just like, bro, there are protein bars who do better than you. Like, that's kind of, that's a little bit, a little bit disheartening. Whey Gold comes in at $84.99. And at $84.99, honestly, I think I would just pay the extra 10 bucks, get the like anywhere between two and six grams of protein extra. Um, and also get some better ingredients. I mean, I, I, when I'm talking about the people who are scared of the protein or scared of the fat and scared of the carbohydrates, um, it's not gonna be something that's gonna scare me very much, but if you give me the choice between, you know, increased protein and, you know, reduced macros on that end, I'm definitely gonna take the increased protein lower on the fat and carbohydrate macros protein. It just makes sense. It's just, it just makes more sense to me. I then free up those macros, small as they might be, for you somewhere else or to just not have which hey it's something it's a small chip i'm not saying it's going to be hugely significant i'm just saying it's something when you're thinking about the grand scheme of things and making your decision in terms of what protein to buy uh, but i think the thing that most concerns me is that when you look at their protein it's like we're talking about not even a straight up isolate like they're coming at you with a blend at 84.99 and you know we're coming in the ingredients you look it says protein blend uh whey protein isolate whey protein concentrate uh, and then whey peptides which that's another thing that just concerns the hell out of me is the fact that one we have a proprietary blend of whey protein isolate whey protein concentrate and whey peptides which means 
you're definitely, almost certainly, picking and choosing the things that benefit you the most. Now, I can't say this for certain because I'm not Optimum Nutrition themselves, and I don't speak for them, but when it comes to proprietary blends, I think a lot of us out there in the fitness community know not to trust it because it tends to speak to the fact that what they likely do in a lot of scenarios is they will pick the cheapest of those ingredients, load up on those the most, and then they will just completely cheap out on the rest of it, which is just an absolute sham for the, the product. It's a sham of a product and it's an, you're cheating the consumer, which sucks. So, and peptides, why are we going that far? Why are we digging that deep into the barrel to cheat people out? Pept, you're just going with peptides like that's super duper shady and like they have to know that and i think the only the problem that's here is the fact that the vast majority of the people who are getting way gold are, are they're not the kind of people who are going to look into the ingredients at all i kind of want to give them a little point for trying with the lactase and i honestly think that when it comes to the whole jim bro suggesting it to jim bro there's a decent chance that the reason this has been suggested as much as it has is because of the fact that the lactase in there makes it more digestible to a larger number of people allowing it to be something that they can say hey i found this to be helpful let me tell this guy about it and that just kind of gets passed on the chain there's really not enough companies out there who are taking it into consideration the fact that lactose intolerance is a real thing and you need to treat it like a real thing and the more you do the more your your product just ends up getting spread by word of mouth from person to person um that being said uh, I, I can't say that that rescues this from the macros i mean the macros i'm still gonna give it i'm gonna give it a, i'm gonna give it a one and a half i wanted to give it a two because it had just 24 grams of protein, that's trash, but then we take into consideration the increase in fat, the increase in carbohydrates, and whey peptides, and it's not even a pure isolate, it's a blend. Nah, dog, you're gonna get a one and a half. So that's a 1.5. And that's really where this is gonna suffer the most. It's gonna suffer the most in macros. Everywhere else, it seems to be doing pretty well. That brings us to the final score. The final score for this protein, higher than I thought it was going to be. I really gotta say, I mean, Big ups to you, Optimum Nutrition, for not completely flubbing in on all fronts. So, I mean, a 15 out of 20, that's not bad. It's a 75%. So, you know, B average. I'm going to call it a B average. You guys get a B, which is surprising because I feel like it's not where I expected to put you. But hey, nonetheless, this is where you're at. Now, when it comes to recommendations, I still would put it on the bottom of the scale of the isolates or protein whey proteins that I have rated thus far. Um, mostly because again, the macros are pretty eh, and it's a blend, not a pure isolate, which I find, especially with the, the blend that they're using, super suspicious. Um, but nonetheless, I, I feel like it would sit on the, le on the lower end of my recommendations for that alone. Um, but if someone didn't care, I mean, I wouldn't stop them from doing it. It's not like it suffers so much from the other categories that I would feel like it deserves to be shunned. It's just as the macros are just really left me wanting um that being said um it did a lot better than i thought it would so again good on you optimum nutrition um so that'll do it for this review i think i cracked it up pretty quickly today too so you know round of applause for me round of applause for me yeah 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 uh if you guys found that useful helpful entertaining educational uh go ahead and throw a comment in the comment section down below uh of course if you've got some suggestions or some requests for other supplements you'd like to see me review of course same thing throw it in the comment section below and let me know i'd love to hear about it and throw it in the backlog of stuff that i have coming up like i always say i got a lot of cool stuff planned for you guys so do stay tuned hit that subscribe button and that bell button to be notified of all of our future videos so you can see all the cool stuff we got coming in the future i got a lot of uh, cool reviews and some deep dive concepts that i want to play with so uh go ahead join the galaxy be notified of all of our content as it comes out so you can stay right on top of what we're doing and join the galaxy all of us out here doing our best to be our best selves and be just a little bit better tomorrow than we were the day before and that is more than enough and of course stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together peace